All right, my partners, music lovers, we're gonna check out and see how does the Ampero 2 stomp sound if we run an acoustic guitar through it. Um, this is my Breedlove Pursuit. Um, it's a little concert size, so it's a smaller size. Um, the, I do like, I love the size of this. It's comfortable to play. The one thing I don't love is the electronics aren't amazing. So I never love this through amps or PAs and stuff like that. And I finally, now that I've been able to run it through um, the Ampero, I've been able to get some sounds that I really like. This is another video that I just haven't seen a lot of or didn't get a lot of information about, but that was another reason why I wanted it, because I wanted to, uh, the versatility of it, being able to run all of these instruments. Um, the Ampero um, Pink that I had, had a little switch, a little dial at the back for changing from electric to acoustic. But we'll see how this one's configured. We have to do it all through the um, software in the Ampere 2 Stump. Um, let's get it. All right, so let's look at the acoustic guitar settings. Now, um, like, I, like as always, I like to go into the editor, and especially for the purposes of making a video. But I also like to adjust the patches in here. You can save them and then recall them later at any point in time. You can save them from here and they'll be stored inside the actual machine so the input mode again we have a left and a right input because this is stereo so i you know this is i i made a video about configuring the um using it with a microphone one thing i overlooked was the input mode i would have probably looked into this a little bit more as that line possibly for the because i think i had it on acoustic uh, electric guitar but you see e guitar a guitar and line so for the e-guitar that i'd use the bass for the e-guitar also so bass and electric guitar go through that and acoustic guitar um now i did notice on, on the uh ampero one or the ampero the other one i had the pink one um there was like a little switch dial switch in the back this one you there is no switch like that so you have to do it software wise either you go inside to the machine or you do it in this editor and then you would have your um now this one, instrument line level, I felt like, oh, I forget which one was louder, line or instrument. It might have been instrument, honestly. But I don't know, we'll have to see. Let's leave it at line for the time being. Again, if you know, if you have any insights, get in the comment section, please. Um, okay, so, now the first thing um, I would do is start from a preset. And luckily there are some decent ones in here. Um, let's see. I'm on the bass settings. Now see this D style? You're gonna see that one, smooth acoustic, finger style. Let's go through just a few of the, uh, and then all seeds, acoustic sims for SC1. Um, and let's just kind of look at the signal chain because this is what I would look at in honestly to kind of base my sound, um, any patch I made, I'd kind of look at theirs to see what they're doing. Looks like they got one channel going through. We've got some amps. Um, a couple amps, um, the Black Prince. I don't know, maybe it's a Pl Princeton Reverb. And then we got a cab, um, some probably some sort of Fender cab attached. So we got the amps are on. We have a dynamic uh, squeezer here, um, some sort of dynamic effect, but it is not on. Um, acoustic preamp. There's a Dreadnought IR, which is just like you know an image repo uh, image response of a dre of a Dreadnought guitar. Um, graphic EQ. We've got delay, ping pong delay. We got some reverb on, volume pedal. And so what I just start doing is kind of going through all the sounds and seeing if I add or take something away, what kind of sounds am I getting, you know? So.
okay. But I can't monitor my voice. That affects it dramatically, that one. So that dreadnought IR really helps. So let's go to the next one. Let me offset that. So I can already hear that reverb on it. That sounds really nice to me. Let's just go to the next one. Now let's put a little bit of delay on that, see what that's all about. Interesting. So I already know that acoustic sim adds a little something to it.
I do like that one. Sounds very, very acoustic. <laughs> Eaten. So luxurious. So in summary, you can see there's a lot of amazing sounds and, you know, just like with all the other effects, you can configure each effect and tweak it. So the sounds are limitless, really, like whatever kind of sounds you're looking for, if you're willing to spend enough time, you could probably find them. So um, if you have any questions about the guitar I used, it was the Breed Love Pursuit, the concert size, um, or any questions or advice or comments, please get in the comment section. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.